Well, hello and welcome back. And today I have for you The Call of Karen, the tale of a fed up housewife who takes on Cthulhu herself. So let's get into it. Listeners and patriots and lovers, watch out. There is a new kind of evil about both family men and no mates of their own. Don't let the octopus into your home. That's our message from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard copies up north. It's a metaphor, you see. I tell ya, I would love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life down there. All those good, stout-hearted Americans with jobs in their minds and capitalism in their hearts. We've got a special guest that I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Now, what's a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I wonder that myself sometimes, Charles. Well, it is a breakfast time. So let's cook some eggs. Okay. <laughs> Comes out so aggressively. <laughs> and I too just put my bacon and meat right out, <laughs> right in the fridge, <laughs> sans container. A bit of salt and a dash of pepper. That's a lot of salt and pepper. <laughs> Take a fork to it. Francis, I made your favorite meatloaf sandwich Mom, with. Mom, I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Are you tired of feeling taken for granted? You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos and the old ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? Hmm. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. Yes, this truly is the American dream. Happy home, happy life, and happy wife. And what could be happier? We'll be back with what more tales that? from all around the greatest country on earth after these messages. Do you see that painting? Clean up. I'm guessing the floating things. Oh, yep. All the floaties. Huh? It might be time to lay off the morning wine. And whatever other drug you're doing, too. Ugh. Even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up. You see the couch? Oh. Oh. Missed the table. <laughs> But 
7,000 recipes that really say, wow, that really is something suspended in gelatin by Susan Jones. It's time to get wiggly. <laughs> it's, it's time to get wiggly with Mother, with Mother PTA president and baker extraordinaire Susan Jones in her, inven in her inventive exploration into the wonderful and appetizing world of aspects. This book is sure to please anyone who likes her food squishy and soggy. <laughs> Daring, innovative, and simply fabulous. Susan Jones, <laughs> author, mother, PTA president. Yep. <laughs> Good enough, I guess. Writing for Men by John Smith. John Smith knocks it out of the park with this in-depth and detailed book on how you too can write the next great American novel. Armed with one creative writing class that he got a C in during his undergrad and 10 best-selling novels that he wrote in the span of three months, John Smith is the perfect tutor for betting writers who defiant the voice of America. Is that what that says? Defiant? Oh well. True American Hero Cards. Alan Held. Here it says. Alan, Al, Held, the owner of the widely popular PMCR radio station. Al's also been buying up other stations. Soon everyone will be listening only to what he wants you to. <laughs> Your Nuclear Family, Not That Kind of Nuclear, <laughs> by Jane Strangelove. The uranium in your paint, your watches, and all sorts of things in your home isn't enough. Why not go whole hog? Embrace this nuclear disaster. This book will tell you why you should uproot your life, move on site to a nuclear power plant, and eat plutonium for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You and your family will be living a nuclear idyllic life before you can say duck and cover. What? <laughs> No, don't do this by nine out of ten doctors. <laughs> yep, oh, I knocked it off. Patrick Shutter, a prolific oil tycoon, Patrick is a, is a master of the deal. When his son was kidnapped, he paid just ten dollars to get all of him sent back over the course of ten months. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Paid us ten dollars to get him sent back over the course of ten months. Oh no. GK Gather. A self made oil tycoon, even though he only had rich parents <laughs> and hideous luck at gambling to help him, he quickly became one of the richest people in America. more by John Smith, Great American Novel. 
This is the thrilling and unique tale witness the definitely not creatively bankrupt and poorly written exploits of a man with no talent and a lot of confidence. You can expect guns, one-dimensional women, no people of color, <laughs> and the extreme arrogance with which the author writes. And if you like his work, you can write just like him. <laughs> Get in there. That works. And we have Bob Ramsey's, a public official who shaped the landscape of many major cities with an iron fist. He displaced a lot of people, but they didn't have money, so who cares? <laughs> yep, American hero. We have Waylon Hurston, a brilliantly intelligent and powerful founder and C CEO of the company Hurston Empires. Hurston is also an explorer and a collector of rare antiques. Well, so far, he's the only one that's not horrible <laughs> of the American heroes. Uh, William Webley. An anthropologist who made millions exploiting the native population of a small island nation. You know, like every good capitalist does. And a white savior. <laughs> Eight out of ten. <laughs> Definitely a book by a writer. <laughs> you wanted it and you got it. Definitely a book is a fresh new take after a writer's break after a writer's breakout book of poetry titled These Are Poems. <laughs> this book is everything you could want in a book. A cover, pages, and even a table of contents. This book is certain to please. And it most certainly is that a book. Truly astonishing. It really is a book in every sense of the word. <laughs> a reading, Atlanta Sun Journal. Lives up to and exceeds expectations. Read that Sunday book club. <laughs> and in there. We have Alfred Twenty Son, a poet who penned plenty of lucrative poems. However, he invested in the wrong thing and became flat broke. Such is the free market. G.O. Craftlove, a visionary author known for strange and compelling narratives. He was also known for discriminating against a whole lot of people, but what good capitalist doesn't? Cat name, stop out of 10. <laughs> and George Devil. A professor who died mysteriously after modeling a sculpture went wrong. His failed sculptures were sold as tchotchkes and made him a posthumous millionaire. I think that's it. Oh. 
Well, let's page. And now to set the dinner table. Plates, cups, and forks. And we bring it one at a time. Don't know what that is. Just also says to bake a meatloaf. I guess we just put it in. That'll do. Nope. And cu cups, yeah. And slice it up. knife just flung around. It's dangerous. Slice. 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 Dinner's ready. There we go. Sure. Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, dinner can't come fast enough. But when they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. And what a wonderful day it was! And if we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't forget, anyone who wants different is a threat to our country. Be sure to report any strange happenings. Like that floating chair. So breakfast time. Just go through here. Breakfast time. Cook some eggs and bacon. What? Again. Yeah, if I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door again, I'll scream. Or I would. If you didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. More bacon for me. Oh, what a feeling. Good morning, America. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night that certainly didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. In other news, does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Up. 
Well, I'm using it. <laughs> Till they show me some respect, they're getting four bacon and eggs. Don't forget your lunch. Next time, can you make lunch like Timmy's mom does? She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I... She gives him cookies for <sighs> breakfast. I never do. Today's broadcast brought to you by Houston Enterprises new vacuum cleaner with brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner longer. But not too long or you ladies back home would have nothing to do. We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say hello to America, Susan Jones. Hi, Charles. It's a pleasure to be here. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Now, Susan, you're a mother, and famed PTA author, and baker extraordinaire. And recipes. Oh, I don't know if I'd yeah. say extraordinaire. 1,000 gelatin recipes. I just know what I'm doing when some others <laughs> struggle a bit more. Sure, Susan. And set the dinner table. All right, that's definitely not normal. Any second now, Charles from PMCR Radio is going to knock on the door and tell me this is all a weird prank show segment. And Susan will be there too. She'll marvel at how I haven't cleaned up before letting in company. Your plates were floating? Mine had booked a plane ticket to Kingsport. I had to walk the whole way there to catch them, and I still made it back in time to make dinner. I mean, it does make it easier to set the table when they're all floating around in the same room. Two forks and two cups. One more cup. Two 
jump on the table. Dinner's ready. In a minute. In a minute. Ugh. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange, and don't forget. <laughs> So, I have no problem with women that want to be stay-at-home moms. There is no shame in that if that is what you want to do. But, if you're going to do that, don't let your family walk all over you. Fuck Timmy's mom. Your kid's going to have a real damn breakfast. <laughs> Well, I prefer floating bacon to floor bacon, though I can't say I'm a huge fan of either. Another day in bacon. American paradise, the greatest country on earth. Don't forget, everything's completely fine. Today's program is brought to you by And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy on your neighbors. Where the rest is, was that cooked? Where's the other egg? But oh, there it is. Surprised the forks didn't fly out. Bye, Francis. Hope you have a good day at school. And no. Have a good day at work, dear. The children, the family, acknowledge the wife and say goodbye. You sure respect, damn it. And why is there shit on the ceiling? Hurst and vacuum, they said. It will have your carpet sparkling like new! Yeah, yeah, give me a ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. Yes! Being Magazine is here! Please take me away to a world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. Mail order silver bullets. Right click while holding the brochure to write in your order info. Then drop it into the envelope and take it to the mail slot. Silver bullets, huh? You know what? Sure. Better safe than sorry. If only I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. <laughs> being. Going outside without being haunted by the specter of death. Mail in this issue to receive a free box of silver bullets. As a Thoth Annihilator. Your number one choice for entity eradication. Did you see us on the front cover? As a thought, Annihilator is here to help. Mail in this issue to receive a free box of <laughs> silver bullets. And it says Susan Jones. <laughs>
It's time to set the table again. Those silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Hey, whatever entity is doing this, please stop. I don't need any more cleaning to do. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Okay. Well, maybe the entity wants some meatloaf too. Yeah, that's everything. Nope, nope. Good. There we go. Dinner's ready. In a minute. In a minute. No, I should start not cooking in for a the minute. entity in the house. Maybe it will appreciate my cooking. I can't tell if that's a yes or a no. I'm going to say no. <laughs> Good evening, listeners. Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all. For you night owls out there, here's the evening news. That storm out by the Atlantic seems to have cleared up. The Navy is setting out to investigate to make sure it isn't something else. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house. <laughs> oh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other unusual behavior. Good morning, everyone. Every day is a clean slate, a brand new start. Breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. <laughs> Everything looks normal. Pepper. Check it. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I can drive Timmy's you. Timmy's mom says that woman shouldn't drive. Bye, honey. Well, Timmy's mom can go fuck herself. Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. A mysterious package has appeared. Is that a note? Hint, right click while holding to use an item. Keep an eye on the vacuum.
Oh boy. From Susan? What does she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has eldritch demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow, isn't that just so thoughtful of her? Grimes looking a little bit more alieny. Okay, that's actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, <laughs> don't I? I mean, no matter how much people are assholes, <laughs> you should still be polite. <laughs> Pencil. It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked, just for you. <laughs> and now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. Come on, Charles. I don't need you calling me out, too. Oh, wait. Meatloaf. And tonight's meatloaf will be served with an extra helping of Satan. It's not going <laughs> Is there another meatloaf? I might be the only one. What we'll, we'll come back to? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So where on earth did that pesky meatloaf go? Maybe some of the holy water from the closet will set it straight. Hint, catch it and drop it on the counter first. So we have our meatloaf. It's in the sink. <laughs> Some garlic, wooden steaks, knives, lots of salt, and some holy water. Ah. There we go. <laughs> we just had to depossess her, uh, her little meatloaf. What am I missing? And one more cup. Here we go. Can I crouch? There we go. Dinner's ready. I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting my training cards. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got 10 appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And 10 more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one, a safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. <laughs> and five down, it's control for time and leisure. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlie. So close. <laughs> so it's a breakfast time. Be sure to be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. I'll be fine, Mom. Timmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Timmy's mom is gonna make me brownies after. 
Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's alright, I'll pick up pizza tonight. I mean, to be fair, you've had meatloaf every single day. Oh, perfect, my bullets are here. Now, I might not have a gun, and most sources say you need a gun to use bullets, but most sources aren't losing their mind trying to be a good wife and mother while demons are in their house. So I'll be taking some liberties. And with an ungrateful family. As a thought, Annihilator. Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. Is that a shotgun? <laughs> a shotgun vacuum. Well, let's pick it up. Oh, I dropped it. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by The Stars Are Right, your number one guide to The Stars Being Right, also providing services like seeing if The Stars Are Right, and making sure that the only ones to send upon the world. Broadcast? What do you mean they're not a sponsor? The Stars Are Right! The Stars Are Right! It's right here! The Stars Are Right! The Stars Are Right! The Stars Are Right! No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that, that the old ones are returning, and that are charging their boat to the second city of Hulk, yeah, and that Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today, 50% off. Oh, we're on air now? Hello, everyone. Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. Add a bit of extra kick to your morning smoothie with some tasty sea life. Delicious. Your smoothie? Actually, that doesn't sound delicious at all. Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work providing for your families. And hey, maybe your wives can take a break, too. Apparently not, because I gotta make breakfast again. <laughs> okay. Well, I grab that. I need that. Get... Pick it that there's uh, where'd it go? <laughs> Come back. <laughs> uh. well, I guess we can just. <laughs> Works. There we go. Where is? Oh, there it is. There you go. I'm gonna play poker with the guys. I'll be back late. Timmy found a weird bat lizard by the creek. We're gonna go poke it with a stick. Hey, don't. Susan should pay more attention to her. Exactly. Looks like Francis picked up his trading cards for once, but of course there's still cleaning to be done. Grab that vacuum and fire away. It looks like these bullets are going to come in handy after all. I'm sick of this Eldritch nonsense. You don't think the 
Soviets have anything to do with this, do you? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. We'll all be vaporized to dust, one way or the other! Do you believe that we will rejoin the stars? I thought you were interviewing me about my ceramic business? Indeed I was! You'll never believe it, folks! This man makes deep-sea dining sets! <laughs> Get a plate shaped like an octopus for only $19.99! Yes, I... Perfect for all occasions! Like serving at 50% off calamari, or celebrating the return of the world! Oh, the the most bad human lord of the deep sea! I suppose you can have a place for that. Yes. There's a there, there it is. The last one. There you go. Ah, what a day it's been, in America. Rest easy with the knowledge that tomorrow. Okay. This has gone on long <laughs> enough. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm sick of all this. It's hard enough to do all the work around here, and I don't need you making it worse for me. I've spent my whole life cleaning up other people's messes, and I'm not dealing with yours, too. I'm ending this, once and for all. Like, so you have these crosshairs in the center. You can't use that to aim with because... When you shoot, when you shoot, there's no force. So you gotta shoot. Above. There we go. Seal vacuum in a closet. Time to end this. Tentacles be gone. Seal vacuum in a closet. Take it outside. Vacuum time. And right, the, right between the eyes and defeat Cthulhu. <laughs> So we got some holy water installed and stakes. <laughs> hey, you big ugly slob! Catch! Task complete. A beautiful day in American paradise. A lovely country with a lovely radio station host that may have just been put on sick leave for a month because of erratic behavior. Strangely, I feel much better, but I'm not going to turn down a free vacation. In any case, sayonara, America. I'll see you again once I'm done sipping pina coladas in Bermuda. Well, that takes care of that. A new day and the sun's out. Where'd that vacuum end up last night? Well, it appears to be in our kitchen. Oh, that's new. Honey, I'm off to work. Oh, and when I get home, I want to talk to you. Frankly, the house has been a mess this week. Susan mentioned that she's seen all sorts of things through the windows, and you're not really making the structured environment. Bitch. <laughs> we both know that you need to clean more, but I want to find a solution that works. Divorce. Happy wife, happy life, right? 
Is that so? Well, there you have it. That was the call of Karen. And we have defeated Cthulhu <laughs> with our souped up vacuum that we tricked out to shoot silver bullets, steaks, and holy water. <laughs> And fuck Susan, because her son needs to stop hanging around my son. And until next time, bye. <laughs>